Before we go any further, I have to tell you something. Sure, baby, what is it? I'm embarrassed. Baby, I love you. You can tell me anything. Okay. You're a virgin. Huh? You're a virgin. You mean you're a virgin. Oh, God, I knew I shouldn't have told you. Baby, if you're a virgin, that's okay with me. Greg, I'm not a virgin. You are. You've never had sex. Uh, yeah, I have. Okay, who with? Oh, if you really want to know, I had sex with Janet McKenzie last spring. No, you didn't. She just gave you a hand job a couple times. Yeah. It doesn't count. I, I know that doesn't count, but there was another time after Carolyn's party, we definitely went all the way. Baby, she got you drunk, and then after you fell asleep, she took off all your clothes. And then the next morning she told you that you had sex. What, did she tell you that? No, but she wrote a story about it for creative writing, and we could all definitely tell it was you. <laughs> no, all right, we definitely had sex. I don't want to go into the details, but there are ways that I could tell. Baby, she poured a little 7-Up onto your penis so it'd be sticky. Then she filled a condom with some non-dairy creamer. That's disgusting! She really liked you, Greg. Was she not ready? Oh, no, she'd had sex with a bunch of guys before then. She could just tell that you weren't ready. Baby, listen, it's totally okay Look, it with do, me. It, it doesn't matter, all right, because I had sex with another girl like a whole bunch of times, and I didn't tell you because you don't know her. It so. was Lisa Oliver. How did you know that? Sweetie. No, I want to know. And, 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 and whatever Lisa said is bullshit because we had sex like 20 times, all right? And if she said that we didn't, it's just because she doesn't want people to think she's a slut or something. Baby, she put a pillowcase over your face and told you that it turned her on. Then she warmed up her crushed velvet sweater in the microwave and wrapped it around your penis. I could feel a person on top of she me. She had an so old beanbag chair that she had filled with pillows and encyclopedias that she'd put on top of you to thrust against. What? Then she'd wedge the sweater and the chair into the corner of her bed frame and just let you go to town. That's psychotic! Why would anybody do that? Somebody dared her. Listen, Greg, I love you. And if you think this is something you're ready for, then I want to do it with you. I just need to let you know, I am very experienced. I've had many lovers, a number of them Spanish. All of them deeply sexually creative and ceaselessly generous with the number of orgasms they could offer me. Now, I I'm only telling you this because I've been so open with you about your experience. So, are you ready? I think maybe you should just drop me off. I want you in my house.